on your eyelashes. Guess what? I put in a lot of effort in trying to film this video and I'm not going to delete it. I'm just gonna upload it anyway. Even though I didn't successfully complete my task of doing a good smoky eye. I mean, I did a good smoky eye, but smoky eye is fine. It's just the lashes. I couldn't help that because I didn't have any other lashes. These are the only ones that I could find in poor old India. Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome back. Welcome to welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you the makeup look. Let's ignore the lashes. Let's not talk about the lashes ever. The point of this video is the eyeshadow, the smoky eye thing. Without lashes, it would probably look great. This smoky eye only required three shades, but I would recommend do not use such long ass lashes. They are so long that they would probably reach the door before me. When they say size matters, they are clearly talking about eyelashes. Anyways, without further ado, let's just get right into the video so you can see how exactly I achieved this horrible, horrible look. Could have been worse. So, fellow friends. My bangs are worse than my lashes. If you don't have these shades, that's totally cool. You don't need to go and buy the palettes that I have or look for the exact same shade. Just if you have something that's similar to the shade that I'm using, that's all you need. If it's not of the best quality, just like put on some setting spray onto your brush and then just pack the, pack, 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 pack all that color on. The color has to show up eventually. Just keep packing it on. If you want to feel better about your eye makeup skills, watch this video. James Charles is probably going to come for me. Oh, you can see my bra too. Sure. I think this is the first time my hair feels as soft which is because of this hair serum that I use. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is the shit that saves your life. And ow, fuck. I just stepped on my hair iron thing. Ah, wow. can't speak. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna use this palette by Zoeva. Wow, by the end of this video, I'm gonna lose all my makeup, all my money, my self-esteem, my reputation. I don't have a reputation. <laughs> it's called Naturally Yours. And I'm gonna start with this shade called Soft and Sexy. Before putting on your smoky eye, just put on some concealer because you don't want no smoky eye, romantic eye, ash eye, wood eye, marble eye, whatever it is. You don't want it on your dark circles. Wow, I think I might just be the worst makeup guru. We don't need brushes, we can use our hands. Look, this looks fine. So I'm just gonna quickly cut myself off here. I'm gonna put the nude shade. I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna put that over my crease. I'm doing voiceovers now because I realized I don't shut the fuck up and I talk too much. So God, my lips are so chapped, honey. Anyways, I'm gonna use a- Watermelon sauce, Paola Alexa. Watermelon sauce. Oh, that's me doing that. Being a beauty guru is hard. I'm gonna go in with the shade Real Girl and I'm gonna put that on the crease of my lid. I don't, it doesn't look like I'm doing this right. Okay, anyways, just put that over your crease. This is just to create like a gradient kind of thing on your eyes. I sound like Bob Ross. And then I'm gonna go in with a shade called Cypress Umber, Umber or something. I don't fucking know what it's called. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my crease. Put that, okay, that doesn't look like just the inner corner, but just do whatever I'm doing. It's gonna work out in the end. Don't worry about it. I'm doing this to the inner corners of my eyes to help that gradient. I like to think that it looks like a sunset, but you can call it whatever you want. We all have our opinion. Anyways, now I'm gonna go in with the darkest black shade from the Zoeva palette. And I'm just gonna put it on like that line, you know, like a cut crease, isn't that what it is? Yeah, so just do like a cut crease with the black and then we're gonna blend it all out later. So don't worry about any harsh lines, but just put that all over your crease, pack that color on and make it look thick and black like the night. Beautiful night. Like your heart, as black as your soul. And then just use that same brush to like blend out all the harsh lines. Just blend at your crease, like the line of your crease, that's where you need to blend and then just use your hands to take off the excess that falls on your face and makes you look like a panda. So I'm just gonna do the other eye, pack the color on. I'm not gonna sing the pack pack song again. I realized that's really annoying. Wow, why did I sing that? So I'm just gonna use the brush to blend the black create that sunset. Then I'm gonna go in with the color Real Girl again, just to, you know, create the sunset again. Cause We're all artists here. Pack that color again, because I want it as dark as possible. So I'm just gonna pack it all on the bottom this time. Um, 
and then just blend it all after you pack the color on just blend it all in i don't think there's a particular way of blending your eyeshadow just keep going at it till it looks right i don't know stab the shit out of your eye and just get it right just keep blending and blending and it's gonna look right in the end and if there's too much of one color just add the other one so if it still doesn't work out just give up makeup isn't for everyone and now i'm gonna go in with the shade uh real girl and put that under my crease i am this is a little late but i'm gonna put that under my crease and just blend it in so that and I'm gonna go in with the black color as well because we don't want, want the sunset on the top lid, you know, we, we want it on the bottom too. Otherwise, it's just incomplete and we're artists here. We don't leave our work incomplete. We gotta complete our work. I literally look like I have a black eye. What am I doing? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just so whiny. Can you shut the fuck up? A makeup remover. Oh, okay. So now I'm just gonna wipe the underside of my eye with a cotton bud and some makeup remover because why not? I don't want to look like a panda. And also, if I put foundation or concealer or whatever over this, my face is just gonna end up looking gray. Clean up, guys. Be clean, you nasty little ho- Now I'm gonna put some kajal in my eye because we really want to make it pop, you know? Give it the smize. That's exactly what I was trying to say in the video. Huh. But I muted myself because I sound like an annoying little ho- not like I sound any better right now doing a voiceover. Anyways, I'm just gonna quickly do the rest of my face. I'm doing my eyebrows. Remember guys, one line on the bottom, one line on top, and then just fill it in and you are set for the day. Someone really gotta stop me. I'm bronzing up my face. I put a lot of bronzer. Okay guys, here's a little secret. Your girl's foundation is a little too cool toned for her skin. So I just cover that up with a lot of bronzer, shit ton of bronzer. Once I look like a bronzed goddesses, I still keep bronzing because you can never go wrong with too much of bronzer because your foundation shade doesn't really match your skin tone anyway that's not the point then i'm gonna just go in with a little bit of blush to trim them i don't know how much i'm supposed to trim them probably just i'll just cut out like one is that too much that's right, now we do the lashes. The nastiest lashes I've ever seen. And blowing on these lashes make me feel so much like a makeup guru because I can see them all do this and just like flap their arms in the air. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna attempt to stick it on my eye. Probably not the last time you are going to see exactly why. How do... All right, I think that's a sign that I should just give up. But little Georgie was taught to never give up. So she's gonna try and get the lashes onto her eye again for the second time. But these are huge. That's what she said. Obviously, I had to make that. That's what she said joke. That was the only time I let myself be totally worth it. Now that I've successfully put my lashes on, I'm putting mascara on my lower lashes. And this is the Better Than Sex mascara. It's waterproof and I don't have waterproof makeup remover. So getting this off my eyelids after this video was a pain in the ass. And now I'm putting on lipstick. I think that's the Maybelline chocolate something lipstick. I don't know. Just put on any lipstick. That's not the point of the video. The point of the video is smoky eye. And I'm just gonna mix around and see what I like because nothing seems to please me. I'm very hard to please. And I think this is the finished look. Obviously, if your lashes weren't this big, you probably would look a lot better than I do right now. I did not expect my lashes to be this long because they don't look that long from the packaging. Wow, this is nasty. It can hold my hair in place. Wait, do people like take the glue off their lashes? Are you supposed to do that? I don't know how this shit works. Follow my Instagram. It's going to be linked on this side or this side. I have, I, I don't know. This is the final look. Okay. Bye. Are my eyes too small for lashes? Do you need like a particular eye, sh eye size? for lashes to fit you.